Hey everybody, it's Dr. Heyer from Holistic Health, where we use functional medicine to help sick people get well and help well people stay healthy. In this video series, we're focusing on functional medicine tests. Tests that are maybe a little bit alternative compared to the conventional, that help us get answers to questions for patients that maybe they're not getting someplace else. And in today's video, I want to talk about something that mm, might be a little controversial for some, might be a foregone conclusion for others, it might be completely new for some of you watching, and that is GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. Now, what is all that? So here's our little farm where we're growing corn, or soybeans, or wheat, or what have you. And what has happened is our agricultural system has modified the DNA, the, the product, the, the, the plant itself, in such a way that when the farmers spray with weed killer, it protects the, the, the crop, the corn, the wheat, whatever. And what it actually does is the, the glyphosate or the, the product actually kills, destroys bugs or kills bugs by destroying their intestines. It basically disrupts their intestinal function and kills them. The problem is, is that so much of our food is made from GMO products to the point where if you're eating corn-based products, high fructose corn syrup, products with soybeans, products with wheat, breads, things of that nature, we're actually getting these things into our guts. And the problem with that is that our digestive systems really haven't changed in the last 10,000 years. Whether you are a creationist or an evolutionist, our guts have not changed in thousands of years. However, the agricultural and farming practices have changed substantially in the last 40, 50, or 60 years, and our guts can't keep up with it. And it's starting to cause problems. In fact, what we're starting to see are increases in things like allergies, increases in things like antibiotic resistance, and the lower nutritional value in our food, and the big key, the big one, is inflammation. And that is gonna have a whole body effect. But let's focus specifically on the gut-brain relationship as we've done in other videos. That genetically modified thing is going to start to cause inflammation in the gut. And we know that there's a relationship with the gut and the brain. If there's inflammation in the gut, there will eventually be inflammation in the brain and vice versa. Now, another thing that this can um, contribute to is a condition we call leaky gut. And as we've mentioned in other videos, leaky gut is simply a term that we use when the guts are allowing things into the body that they shouldn't be. Just like my screen, my window is supposed to keep mosquitoes and bugs out, but if I puncture holes in it with a pencil or a screwdriver, it's going to let mosquitoes in, and we don't want that. Same thing here. It's going to create a leaky gut or increased intestinal permeability that we don't want. And the problem with that is that the body starts to see um, food molecules that aren't digested or bacteria or other things getting into the body that shouldn't be, so the body goes crazy. And a lot of times it actually has what we might call an autoimmune reaction. It's not really an autoimmune issue, but it looks like an autoimmune issue. And unfortunately, some people might be misdiagnosed. But what does this have to do with testing? Well, we have tests to help figure out if this might be a problem for you or someone you know. We'd like to test for food sensitivities. Oftentimes, we'll find several foods that you might think are healthy, but your body doesn't like. Also, we have a zonulin test, which is specific for leaky gut. It actually tests the permeability of the intestines, and there are other digestive tests. There's stool tests, there's endocrine tests, there, there's urine tests, there's, there's a bunch of different tests that are available to help figure out, hey, is leaky gut, is a digestive problem the underlying cause to which you might be experiencing? So, if you or somebody you know might think that this could be part of their problem, feel free to share this with them. Send us a message or even go to our, our website. You can find a link below that will take you to our functional medicine page where you can schedule for a complimentary consultation. And we'll talk for 10 or 15 minutes. I'll be happy to hear your story and figure out if these tests might be good for you and your situation. Thanks a bunch. Have a great day.